Hey everybody, it's Tracy Longo here at Guitar Tech Corner. I've been here for 37 years. Well, not sitting right here for 37, but restoring and repairing guitars for 37 years. And I want to talk to you about the Glue Boost line of Master Glues. Uh, these are a proprietary CAA glue that is very, very reliable, very, very clean and pure. It has a very long shelf life and it comes in a thin and an ultra thin. Ultra thin is going to be, uh, for the best analogy I can use, is uh, thin like water. And then regular thin is going to be just a little bit thicker viscosity. Both of these are thin CA style glues. So we're going to do a little demo here with these guys and uh, let's get started. One thing that's very important I want to let you know as an optional item this glue will stick to your fingers and you're going to notice in these videos or video that I don't wear any gloves but you know do yourself a favor get yourself these nitro gloves you can find these just about anywhere they work really well because they really they fit pretty tight to your fingers so you can still use the tools and such so like if you have a q-tip that we're working with it'll hold it but the best thing about it is when you're done you can take the Q-tip and the glove, turn it inside out, and then you don't have any glue on you, and the Q-tip's inside there, and you throw it away. I just want to let you know, even though I didn't use them, because I've been so used to using these glues for the many years, um, first time in, please, save your skin. So what's, what's going on here, this is common. The binding starts coming off here. So if I wanted to, I could pop the binding off the whole guitar. So what I want to do is I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put the thin in there because I don't want, to, I don't want the ultra thin to go in there because it'll, it'll creep away too fast. So with my finger, I'm actually going to open that up a little bit and I'm going to wick that in a little bit and then I want to take this little prop right here and kind of push this in a little bit that gets the glue going but what I like about this glue a lot is you don't have to get in there with a piece of sandpaper and clean out the joint as much usually when the binding pops off it's because it just shrunk and yeah there's still some glue in there but the binding is a material that will actually melt There we go. So it's already starting to stick just on its own. Now I'm going to use the glue boost, a couple little puffs right there. And I'm going to come back because I don't want my fingers to stick to this. And I like to move it around a little bit. Just uh, I'm applying pressure, not too much, just enough to give it the bite back. And then there we go. The binding is fixed. Now, the risk that you have here, and a lot of times I'll turn the guitar on the side, but this is for the video presentation. The risk you have is it coming out of the bottom and dripping all the way down to the bottom of the neck. So you can use electrical tape to put right underneath here, and that'll sometimes avoid that. I've just done this so many times. Um, I try to, you know, be able to knock it out relatively quick because I this guitar needs so much work. So I'm going to go on to the next part of this guitar. So these inlays on these 50s instruments, they're synthetic. They're a celluloid inlay. They're, they were supposed to look like uh, Mother of Pearl, and then they got nicknamed Mother of Toilet Seat because all the toilet seats were made out of the same material at the same time. So what they do is they shrink. So just much like the binding you just saw here, the material which is a celluloid material, shrinks here. So these guys start lifting out. And it's kind of hard to see, but there's cracking going on underneath here. It's actually the glue, not the inlay. So what would I do? Would I go in there and gouge out the inlay and clean it up and stick it back in there and make it look like I just completely did exactly what I described? Or do I come in using the same technique and go on the sides here and you can probably see it wicking in. And then I just press down to make sure everything's seated. That's good. 
That's really good. I'll probably use just a tiny bit of glue boost on this one. That was the ultra thin. And I love it because it sticks to many species of woods, many different materials. And for restorations, doing what I'm doing here, I can make this thing completely invisible and not have all the inlays pop out. Five years, 10 years, whatever, down the road. It's a good process. Like this one right here, I can feel it. This one right here, I can feel it lifting up. So this one's back in. I had pressed it in earlier and then just wicking the glue right in there did that. Anything plastic on a guitar from this age, 40s, 50s, you know, back into the 30s as well too. Then they started using real ivory and, and real mother of pearl. Um, you're going to see, and I don't know if, you, if the camera can see this, this cracking right here. Those little hairline crackings. Epoxy is not going to fix those. But Ultra Thin by Glue Boost is because it'll wick all the way underneath it and it'll leave the cracking in there so you have the age look. So let's go back to the one I just fixed. And you can still see the cracking, but it's solid as a rock. It's not going to come out. So I have many more of those to do, but I wanted to show you the binding and the inlay on this guitar. So once again, this is Tracy Longo from Ventura, California, Guitar Tech Corner. And we just showed you some projects using Glue Boost Accelerator and Master Glue Ultra Thin and Master Glue Thin. Two necessary glues I have to have in my shop all the time. Thank you.